All right, we're good to go. Is it started? Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah okay, cool. All right, All right. So, so Jesse going Pikachu for this matchup, which is, I think, a very good decision. Yeah. Right. Is a broken character this game. Yeah. <laughs> um, see how Paul goes. And Paul, typically, as a Kirby player, doesn't do a lot of the uh, sort of bread and butter Kirby. <laughs> Ooh, Jesse trying to go for... He should have just gone for something more guaranteed, like Seems even an F smash or a Nair. Nair, flip, flip down Nair. Yeah, but he just decided to do something a bit Paul silly. Paul decided to cover high. So. Nice, nice, nice wait that. by uh, Sweet Chili there. No, I think Jesse's playing better. It's just he needs to. I think he if he just sticks to his normal bread and butter, then he'll be fine. But he can't. He typically wants to just play every game like a friendly, where yeah. he'll just run in. Yeah. And uh, you know, he can't do that in a tournament because if you lose stock, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Paul should have just grabbed ledge there. I think. Generally, if you, Pikachu gives you a ledge when you're near it, just grab it. Otherwise, if you try and jump again and he takes all your jumps, then it's a very oh, okay. easy kill. Mitch, it's uh, Fibsy and, and uh, Birdies. Oh, and uh, Jesse's pineappling himself. I mean, that's Paul, Paul so yeah. <laughs> that's the shield Paul break? special. That's a good shield break, though. What's he going to do? Okay, uh, back here. Interesting no, I think I would have done that because he slipped off. But he, he slipped off the platform, and it's just one of those cases where you're like, you want to get a punish. That's like Pikachu's best recovery option against Kirby, pretty much. Unless yeah. Kirby, unless Kirby reads. Unless Kirby reads it, yeah. Over. Even then, it's still really hard to get to. Yeah, and generally, like, I feel when I play Pikachu in this matchup as well, if you see the Kirby like covering the ledge. Generally, you just go for that across the stage option because yeah. there's no way that the Kirby can cover that much space in time. All I'm missing is uh, Z cancels. That could have been an easy uh, follow up. And see, when, uh, when, uh, Paul's, when Paul's trying to edge guard Sweet Chili, he's generally in the air, which really restricts Kirby's covering options. Like, yeah. if you're in the air when trying to edge guard of Pikachu, you're pretty much only covering where you are, whereas if you're on the ground, you can either read, yeah. you can bait the over the top, or read the, to the ledge. So. Yeah, so Jesse really playing around with his movement at the moment. Paul's trying to hit him with an aerial, but Jesse just kept walking back there, and Paul was just burning his jumps. Paul over committing with the uh, aerial return, I'm guilty of that as well. I always think I have one more jump, and I don't. Yeah. I think Paul, Paul fast fell on, like towards the ledge there as well and just missed it. So, if I was Paul here, I would be staying on the ground and trying to bait out approaches from Pikachu. Yeah, so I'm down as Kirby. I'm trying to fish for a up tilt or like this, like this. See, he's just not, he doesn't quite capitalize on the combos too much. Yeah. Like he could have down a down aired there and gone for a tech chase. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. So, pretty much, he just does not want to get into an edge guard situation at this point. He's too high percent. Yeah, oh, that could have been it. Yeah. Because I feel like every time Jesse's had him in this situation here, that was good. he's just not been able to capitalize. Nice. Yeah. So, I think that's a game. Uh, a game for those two. Good stuff, guys. <laughs>